Ever heard of the grandfather paradox? The grandfather paradox is usually used to disprove the existence of time travel. The idea is that if you were to travel back in time to kill your grandfather before he had your mother, then it would be impossible for your mom to have been born. So you wouldn't have been born to travel back in time and kill your grandfather in the first place. Thus, it's a paradox. And some people would assert that because of this potential logical inconsistency, time travel cannot exist. But there's supposedly a clever way to resolve this. And to do that, you guessed it, we use a Mobius strip. Let's represent the timeline on the surface of a Moby strip. Suppose in 2021 you gain access to a time machine for unknown reasons, and you decide to travel back in time to kill your grandfather when he was still a child, still for unknown murderous reasons. So now you're back in 1940 and you kill your grandfather. If your grandfather is dead as a kid in 1940, in 1970 your mother can't have been born, and in the year 2000 you can't have been born. So in 2021, there was no you to travel back in time. Now here's where it's different. We just simply move past this paradoxical point and see what happens. If there's no you to travel back in time in the first place, then there's no one to kill your grandfather in 1940. So he would be alive to have your mother in 1970. And your mom is present to give birth to you in the year 2000. And by 2021, you use a time machine to travel back in time to kill your grandfather. And the cycle repeats forever. Now we see that the whole surface of the Moby strip is written over. And a nifty thing about using the Moby strip is that opposite events like your mother is born and your mother is not born are precisely on the locally opposite sides of the Moby strip. In 2000, you were born and not born at the same time. In 2021, you travel back in time and do not travel back in time simultaneously. In 1940, you kill your grandfather and not kill your grandfather at the same time. Each event and its opposite is happening at the same time along the length of the strip. It looks much more of a paradox than a paradox it is trying to resolve. Still, when you restrict your thinking along the looping events happening at the surface, the logic behind the causes and effects seems to bend smoothly. It's become a causal loop. So the reason why you had to kill your grandfather in the very first place? You did that so you could live. Isn't that amazing?